Hi, so this video might be quite controversial and it might also come across as a hit piece and that is not my intention. Now if you're not familiar with the situation, is that Captain Marvel is due to be released in cinemas in around two weeks time and it's being played by, the, by Brie Larson. She's the actress who's playing Captain Marvel. And Brie Larson's come under a lot of criticism in recent months regarding two particular episodes. The first one is where she came out and attacked the number of white male critics that are currently, that are currently employed. So she pointed out that around 65% of all movie critics are white men. She also suggested that white men are unable to fully understand or appreciate black movies. Number two is that she's also promoted charities that are designed to purchase cinema tickets for young girls who live in poverty. And I'm going to cover these two particular points and explain the why. Now I want to focus on why this has happened and why this whole mess that is really impacted Captain Marvel and brought about a lot of negative a lot of negative publicity has potentially occurred. So I'm going to begin on a news news article. Now this news article was shared around 2016 and there's a number of news websites that have this that have this story in this article and it discusses the history of Brie Larson where she held an interview and she discussed how she, how she was brought, brought up and raised. And she points out that when she was a teenager, her father walked out on the family and, and essentially left them to fend for themselves. And in the interview, she said that we lived in a studio apartment with just a room and a bed that came onto the wall. And my mum couldn't afford even a Happy Meal. I had no toys I had, and I had like two shirts and a pair of jeans and that was it. So Brie Larson has experienced this very difficult scenario of essentially living in poverty. And I want, to, I want to show a lot of compassion towards Brie Larson and to try to appreciate that she has experienced a very difficult situation in her life because I've seen many people believe that Brie Larson was born into a privileged lifestyle and she's almost been manufactured to become a Hollywood superstar. And now this interview does point out that she has actually lived in poverty and experienced a very difficult scenario. So I want to show some sort of appreciation towards her and to identify that Brie Larson has experienced a difficult scenario in her life. But I'm going to go back to this later because you want to remember that it's it's her father who's a white male who has kind of abandoned her and left her in a very difficult situation. So what Brie Larson appeared to be saying is that she believed that critics were given a wrinkle in time a very poor review because the movie critics were dominated by white men. And she pointed out that the, the wrinkle in time wasn't made for white men. It was a, a predominantly a black movie featuring black actors and black characters and for a, for a black audience. Now, now this website is Metacritic and what this website does, it compiles and aggregates the review scores for critics. So as we can see, there's 52 critic scores and the average score is 53 out of 100, which is quite poor. Now, if this was representative of all black movies, you could suggest or you could investigate that white male critics are targeting black movies and giving black movies poor scores. But I want to easily and really quickly point out that this is completely false. And what Brie Larson is actually quite offensive towards white male critics because she has suggested that white men or white male critics don't understand black movies. And I find this really frustrating, quite offensive, because I'm going to show you Black Panther. Now, Black Panther has 55 critic reviews, but the score is much higher. And if you dig into it, many of these critics are the same people. So why... I find it really disturbing. Why is, is Brie Larson going on the world stage and attacking the concept of white male critics when it shows that they, do, they are able to appreciate a black movie? Now, if this score here was also 55, 55 out of 100, you could, you could suggest that that does need to be investigated because there seems to be a pattern where white male cr movie critics are attacking or giving poor scores to black movies but black panther has a very strong score from the critics 55 critics gave black panther a good score so what that points out is that the wrinkle in time yes it's made for a black audience but the movie critics didn't like it they gave it a poor review so if we go back wrinkle in time received a score of 53 whereas black panther scored received a score of 88 so that shows that white male movie critics are not racist they just simply did not like this movie if they were racist that then this score for black panther wouldn't be as high it would be very similar to to the score that the wrinkle in time received so I've, i find what 
Brie Larson has said is actually quite offensive towards white male movie critics. Now, if you think about it, movie critics, their job as journalists, they are supposed to be impartial. They are supposed to go and watch a movie and give an impartial review and suggest that, you know, this is a good movie. And even if it isn't made for them, they can still appreciate the cinematic quality in the storytelling of the movie. And they will give it a good score. Now, I want to point that out also to try and defend movie critics because... There's a whole structure in place. If their editors found that a movie critic is is, a, is giving low scores to black movies, then the editor will should focus on that and identify that perhaps this movie critic is racist and giving movies targeted towards ethnic minorities poor scores. And that is what Brie Larson seemed to be suggesting. And I find that really offensive. And it appears, I really hate to say this, but it appears that Brie Larson has an issue with towards white men. And it could be motivated by the the idea that her father, who's a white man, walked out on her and banned her. It's really sad to say, but it's, it appears that Brie Larson has a real issue towards white men. And it's based on one man. So why is she letting one white man, i.e. her father, dominate her views towards white men? Now... This is a very difficult subject to raise, but I'm raising it because Brie Larson is going on the world stage and she has a platform where she's being listened to and she's being offensive towards a group of people. In this instance, it's just a small group of people, i.e. white male movie critics, but she still has a platform to attack people and yet it appears to be based on a prejudice that is formed by one by an experience that she's had in her life. A very sad experience. It's not something I'm glorifying at all. And I have a lot of appreciation to the difficult experience she went through of being abandoned and having to live with her mother in what appears to be a poverty situation. But for her to have a her to have a stage where she's able to go online and and create a platform where she can attack people is just horrendous. If she has issues with her father, she should not let let those issues influence what her uh, attitudes and opinions. Because this shows that if she believes that movie critics don't understand the wrinkle in time because it's a black movie that is completely false that is a completely false narrative and it's quite offensive and she if she is unable to fully research what is happening and go on the stage like she has did and explain or try to claim that white male critics don't understand black movies that is completely false here's the proof the proof is really easy to find all you have to do is go online click a few buttons and you'll see that that white male critics do appreciate black movies because they're they gave Black Panther a high score. Now I'm going to point something out, something out to you that's, that also supports this, and this is actually what this also points out why Brie Larson is actually doing something that's really terrible. She f- she doesn't understand. She hasn't really researched. Now I want you to remember that Brie Larson is a growing adult. She's 29 years old, and as a 29 year old, you should be able to go out, go away, and fully research and fully identify and use factual information to support your arguments, especially when you're going to go on a world stage and attack people like she has. So I'm going to I'm going to show you this. So I want you to remember that the, the Black Panther score is 88. This is the movie critic score, and. The score for Wrinkle and Time is 53 from critics. But if we go to IMDb, you'll actually see the fan scores. 32,952 people left a score of 4.2. So this shows the actual fans dislike the movie less than the movie critics. And again, if we go to Black Panther, this is 468,458 people. So nearly half a million people left a score, an average score of 7.3 out of 10 so it's effectively 73 percent out of 100 but if we go back you see it's 88 so the movie critics the white male movie critics like this movie more than the fans who went to pay to see it so Brie Larson is absolutely disgusting and disgraceful. She went on the work, she went on a platform and she attacked white men when they actually liked the movie more than the fans who paid to watch the movie. On in both occasions, these two black movies that, are, that feature black characters, black actors, have higher scores from the movie critics than the fans. It's almost unbelievable to understand to 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 begin to point out why why would she do this it's it's like it's stranger than fiction this woman is doing something that's very dangerous she is putting out messages that are completely false and it's appalling and it needs to stop 
if you see here, A Wrinkle in Time received a score of 53. Black Panther received a score of 88. That shows that white male critics are not racist. There's no pattern. There, there isn't a pattern of black movies consistently receiving negative reviews. And then you see the actual fans who paid to watch the movie like the movies even less. It's actually astonishing. Now, Brie Larson said that the movies weren't made for white male critics. So who were they made for? The actual audience that went to see them liked the movies less than the critics. So what the hell is happening? Why is Brie Larson, a fully grown adult at the age of 29, not able to look at factual information that's easily available online? She went and used a study that points out that 60% of movie critics are white men, but guess what? It's actually in her benefit that the movie critics are white men because those white, men, those white movie critics like the movies more than what the actual fans do. So... Brie Larson has the complete wrong, the completely opposite angle of this situation. It's, it's, her opinion is so false, it's actually embarrassing. And that is why she's being attacked online so much. Because many people can see this. Many people can, can see that, that just listen, look at this information. It's absolutely astonishing. And I'm, I'm really personally annoyed that she has a platform where she can do this. She is attacking white male critics. And that could lead to white male critics losing their jobs. But guess what? They like the movies more than the fans. That's how astonishing this, this situation is. That, that Brie Larson, a fully grown adult, is using this terrible agenda that's, that's based on terrible, poor information to attack people. And it needs to stop. It's just not what should be taking place, in my opinion. Now, this is the second element that Brie Larson's come under, come under a lot of criticism for. She has promoted charities that are designed to buy cinema tickets to help young girls who live in poverty to watch Captain Marvel movie when, it, when it's released in the cinema. Now, this is a very strange scenario Brie Larson could have done. She could have promoted a charity that helps to educate or helps to feed young girls who live in poverty. Why would she want to generate money for them to go and watch her at the cinema? Why not she... What she could have done... She could have worked with Disney and put together some sort of educational book that teaches young girls about science. For example, in the movie, she's a fighter jet pilot. There's also she's also set in space, so they could have focused on like fighter jet technology or engine technology, something educational. But instead, she wants them to watch a movie. Now, if you go back to Brie Larson's history, she grew up and she became she had this short experience as a pop star she she released an album and it, that career didn't work out and then she went on to become an actress and what it appears is she wants young women to follow in her in her footsteps and that is to become a celebrity or an actress now why is she putting that agenda forward instead of trying to help to educate young girls into other areas so what i'm saying is maybe there's young girls out there that don't want to be actresses they don't want to be in movies they actually want to be engineers they want to be mathematicians they want to be computer scientists why is Brittany larson not helping those young girls into those careers why is she helping them or encouraging them to become the next Brie larson Brie larson appears to have these real issues surrounding her childhood and again, I'm not trying to gloat and I'm not trying to, to attack her. I'm trying to show her sympathy. But at the same time, if she's going to go out and attack people and put out these messages to millions of people that are completely false and completely agendered based on her experiences from her childhood, it, that needs to be addressed, in my opinion, because she is trying to attack people. She attacked white men, claiming that white male movie critics do not appreciate black movies, when they actually appreciate them more than the movie fans who went to watch them, as we've seen. And now she's trying to, it appears that she's trying to encourage young girls to go and watch movies, as if watching movies is the solution to their poverty. What's going to help these young girls is having support in their education and having support in their food and their healthcare. That is a real cause that could help these young girls. But instead, Brie Larson wants to attack white men because she was abandoned by her white father. And then she wants to encourage young girls to become the next Brie Larson because Brie Larson, when she was younger, wanted to be a celebrity, wanted to be a, a pop star, wanted to be an actress. And I want to end this video on a positive message. What I'm, what I'm really hoping, it might sound really disingenuous of me to say this, but I'm really hoping that someone sits down with Brie Larson, whether it's a manager or an agent, and tries to help her through this process. Because Brie Larson is going out there and she's starting to really almost embarrass herself. Because people can see what is happening. There's no evidence that white, white male critics do not understand black movies. 
when we can see there's other movies that have excellent scores. Black Panther received a great score, of, it received a score of 88. So that shows that white male critics do appreciate and do understand black movies. If there was a consistent spread of black movers receiving poor scores that could be investigated but it quick it quite easily with this example you can see that isn't the case and then she's promoting these children's charities that just seem to be promoting the idea of being a celebrity why why show young girls the idea of celebrity why not show them that young girls can be scientists they could be mathematicians Brie Larson seems to have this real agenda and it's really terrible it's based on Poor factual information, and it's based on her personal agenda from when she was a child. And I think it needs to be addressed because she's starting to put out these terrible signals to people. And I'm, I don't want this video to come across as a, an attack on a female actress. And the reason is that there's been other female actresses like Jennifer Lawrence and Gal Gadot are doing an excellent job of going on the world stage in a very pressurized situation and promoting movies in a very constructive and positive manner. They haven't attacked people. They've t talked about difficult issues. For example, Jen La Jennifer Lawrence has talked about the how the pay equality in a perfectly rational approach, in my opinion. Whereas Brie Larson has come out and has this agenda of attacking people. And I'm sorry to say, it appears that she has some sort of issue with dating back to her childhood. And it's it's really sad to see, but if she if she it needs to be addressed because she is going out and she is attacking people. And I, I, what I want to do point out that she shouldn't be able to go onto an onto a world stage and attack people based on her agenda or or this very sad scenario where she was abandoned by her father. And that is to me appears to be one of the real reasons why this might be happening, and it needs to stop. But if you disagree with me, if you have any. If you have your own opinions, please leave the comments below. But from what I've seen, Brie Larson seems to have a real agenda with white men. And if it's influenced by her father abandoning her, that needs to be addressed. And it's it needs to be addressed. She's going out there. She's trying to market a movie. And it's turning into a disaster. A very strange scenario where the Marvel industry could be almost destroyed because of what Brie Larson is doing. And it, it needs to be addressed, it needs to be stopped. And again, if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments below.